Hi guys, it's your virtual teacher here, and this is the channel where you learn to love learning. In today's video, it's all about short multiplication, so if you're struggling with that, particularly in year five and year six, then watch the video to find out more. So in this video, we are multiplying again using the short multiplication method, but this time we're multiplying by a two digit number. So my strategy for this is if you're um, writing it down in a maths book or something, only do one line because there's multiple steps when you're timesing by a two digit number. So my strategy is called the caterpillar. So it's really simple and all you need are two colours. So I've got green and red. So the first thing that I'm going to be doing is drawing my little caterpillar. You can even put the little antennae on if you really want to. So the first thing, we've got 25, so your top number, so 25. So open brackets multiplied by your bottom number. Now, if you've watched my previous video where we were multiplying by one number, you should be able to do this really, really simply. So how do we do this? First job, ignore that one, that 10 there, just ignore it. So let's do five times five is 25. Yeah, so I put a five there. And what I do, because it's 25, I do a little two, just a little one underneath my tens. Okay, now I do two times five. So two times five is 10. But this time I'm adding my cheeky little number. So add two, which is 12. Okay, and I write it like that. Now, your next thing that you're going to do is you're going to cross off anything that you don't need anymore. So I don't need that little two there. If you're on a whiteboard, you could just rub it out if you wanted to. And I don't need that five because I've already multiplied it. And you can see that I've already multiplied it here. So I'm going to cross that now too. Okay, now get your next colour and draw your next caterpillar. So it's the other way and it's looking the other way. And again, if you want to draw the little antenna. Okay, now, like I've said, we've crossed things out. Now, remember, we crossed out this five. So before I'm going to write any more brackets, because I've crossed out the ones, I'm not multiplying any ones now. In the ones place this time, I'm going to put my zero, okay, because I'm not multiplying by any ones. Now it should all flow and make sense. So open brackets. Again, I'm doing 25, 25 multiplied by, it's not one, it's 10, isn't it? Because remember, it's in the tens column. So I'm multiplying it by 10, actually. Now you could probably do that in your head. But again, if we're following this strategy, just work it out on here. So five times one is five. And remember, that goes in your tens place, because remember, it's actually five times 10. Oh, and look, because I put my zero on earlier, it's 50 already. But you need to remember to put that zero on to show that you're not actually multiplying by any ones this time. OK, then you times the hundreds. So two times one, nice and easy. Two times one is two. OK, so 25 times 10 is, yes, 250. So the last step, very easy, draw your other line and show that you're adding those two parts together. So add your ones, that's five, add your tens, that's seven tens, and then add your hundreds, three tens. So 25 times 15 is 375. Okay, so here's another example one. So first job, get your two colours, remember, do your first little caterpillar. So he's going to do 321 multiplied by four in this case. So again, the same thing like my previous videos, one times four is four, two times four is eight, and then three times four is 12, good. Okay, so there's no little numbers underneath, which is nice and easy. Then get your second colour for your caterpillar. Cross off things that you don't need anymore. Remember, we've already worked out that four, haven't we? We've already multiplied by four. So instead, what do we need to put? 
we need to put that zero. Good, to show that we're not timesing by any ones now. Okay, so my red caterpillar, he's going to do 321 times, what's that, two? It's actually 20, isn't it? Because it's in the two tens. Excellent. So now we do one times two, which is two, good. But remember, it was actually one times 20, wasn't it? Because that's two tens, but um, we've already put the zero there, so it's just 20. Then times by your tens, so two times two is four. And then three times two, which is six. So altogether, 321 times 20 is 6,420. Good. And the last thing we need to do, kind of our last step, is to add all of those together. So add your ones. You could do two lines as well. Add your ones, so four. Eight to two is your ten. So again, writing it, you need to carry it across. So underneath, there we go. Um, add your hundreds. So two add four is six hundreds. Add your one, remember, because it's a cheeky number. So that's seven. And then add your thousands. So that's also seven. So it's seven thousand seven hundred and four. Okay, if you're feeling confident, pause the video and have a go at this one. Make sure that you've got your two different colours and you also put that zero on to make sure um, when you get to kind of timesing by the tens. Okay, so let's have a look at this one. Let's take my first colour for my first little caterpillar. So this first calculation, 462 multiplied by 8. Okay, so the first thing, 2 times 8 is 16, good, so I've got 6, and remember I'm going to carry my little 1 now, just underneath here, in the tens column. Okay, so 6 times 8, what's that? Yep, it's 48. Then, this time, because you've done 6 times 8 is 48, add that cheeky 1, so that's 49, good, so 49. Remember, you have to put a little number again, okay? So it's 49, and you can see that diagonally as well. As you go, I would probably cross these off as you go because you don't want to get confused as you keep continuing with the calculation. Okay, so the next one, four times eight. So four times eight is 32. Then add your four now. So 32 add four is 36, good and make sure you always line it up correctly. And again, cross things out that you don't need. I also don't need this eight because I've already multiplied it. And remember what you also need to do, because I've crossed out my ones, I can now put a zero in my ones straight away because I'm not timesing by ones. Okay, get your next color to your other little caterpillar. And the calculation would be 462 again, but this time multiplied by 20 now. Excellent. Okay, so two times two is four. Brilliant, that can go there. Six times two is 12, good. So put a two and then carry as well. And then four times two, that's eight, but remember, add one more, nine, good. Again, cross off what you don't need, so I don't need that. Okay, then put your two lines, if you like, underneath and show me that you're adding as well. Okay, now all you need to do is add this middle section. So add the ones, that's just six. Add the tens, that's 13. So it's exchange or carry across. Um, add the hundreds, so six add two is eight. Add one more, nine, and then add your thousands. So three add nine or nine add three would be 12. So overall then it's 12,936. Okay, hopefully you're getting really confident with this method now. So I'd like you to pause the video and have a go at this one. Okay, so the first thing, like we've been doing, do your first calculation. So that's 608 multiplied by six. So eight times six, is 48, so you want an eight, and then a little four this time, remember. Then zero times six is zero, because anything times by zero is always zero. But this time you're going to add that four, so that's four. Cross it off, because you've already put it up. 
then do your 100. So 6 times 6 would be 36. And again, put that in the right places. Cross off anything that you don't need. So I've already crossed off that. But now I need to cross off the 6 because I'm not multiplying by the 6 anymore. Now get your next colour if you're doing different colours. And remember, I'm going to put a 0 there because I'm not multiplying by any 1s now. Okay, so my next calculation is going to be 608 multiplied by 30 because it's 3 tens. Okay, so 8 times 3 is 24. So I'm going to put 4 there and a little 2 in the hundreds because that's where I'm at at the minute. Then 0 times 3 is 0. Add the 2 is 2. Cross it off as we add. 6 times 3 is 18. Okay, so 608 times 30 is 18,240. Okay, and the last step that we're going to do is again add them all together. So add your 1s, which is 8. Add your 10s, which is 8. Add your 100s, which is 8. <laughs> Um, add your thousands, which is 11, tricked you that time, and then add the last part. So one add one as well, because it's um, your cheeky number as well. So that's two ten thousands. So altogether, I've got 21,888. Okay, the last one that I would like you to have a go at today is this calculation. So pause the video and have a go. Okay, so exactly the same, draw your caterpillar. So 2083 multiplied by seven this time. So three times seven is 21, so carry it across. Excellent. Eight times seven is 56. Add the two, 58, good. Cross it off as you go. Zero times seven is zero. Add the five, so that's five. Cross it off as you go. And then two times seven is 14. Lovely. Okay, so cross off what you don't need. I don't need that seven anymore. So therefore, because I've crossed off the seven, I need to put a zero here because that's to show me that I'm not multiplying by any ones now. So my next calculation is going to be 2,083 multiplied by... 40, remember, good. So 3 times 4 is 12. So 2 and then 1, excellent. 8 times 4 is 32. And then add the 1, 33. Super. Cross it off as you go. Um, 0 times 4 is 0. Add 3, 3, lovely. And then 2 times 4 is 8. And the last thing that you need to do is add up everything that you've got. So add your ones, I've got one, add your tens, that's 10. So carry it across, that's eight, add one more, nine. That's seven, and then that's nine. So it's 97,901. Bye.